themselves to these ridiculous magazines. It's so much pressure. Competition. Oh, women of all ages want to know what the latest trends are. Okay, but taking a test on how vegetables can increase your sex drive? <laughs> Competition? I don't think so. Hi, girls. Oh, need I say more? <laughs> Obviously, I've just come from one of my totally pathetic promotional jobs. Then why don't you just quit? I wish. It's not like we're reeling in the cash here lately and I have bills. Acting class, rent. And your half is due tomorrow. Hey, why don't you guys take one of my clinical studies for extra cash? Mm. Being analyzed by a room full of other desperate people trying to make their rent isn't my idea of fun. Yeah, this is one doesn't really pertain to you guys anyways. It's on penis envy. That reminds me, I met this really hot guy on the street today. Only you, Jin. Could meet a guy dressed like a carrot. Mm -hmm. Look, girls, I know that it's not been very good since the frickin' cafe opened down the street. Yeah, what's up? They're popping up all over the city. I read in the post today that Donald Trump is an investor. Mm. And he's dating the new Miss Universe. I'm sorry, did you say you read the paper? Page six. I'm Cindy Adams. She's my idol. Mm. I don't get it. They put a French name on a cup of coffee, charge three bucks, and people come in droves. Come Our society is all about packaging. Competition again, my fellow coffee slingers. Small, medium, and large. I refuse to speak a foreign language to order a cup of coffee. Mm. Well, I'm going to change. What's up, ladies? Hi. You guys are looking lovely as usual. Mm. Hi, Jamie. How are you doing? Rex. Jen, what is this thing? <laughs> You're like a vegetarian's wet dream. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Can we get some coffees over here? Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, what up? What's up, Tyrannosaurus Rex? Hey, hey Rex. Ladies, hey, what's up? Hey. What's up with that coffee you just wearing? I don't know, but I feel like I'm still cooking from last night. I, think it's I would bad. not go out That's bad. I, I know. know. <laughs> you guys want some? Jamie, where's that uh, coffee? I like my chopper teeth, though. I don't think I see it. What is that? Hi. Hey. Can I get you any milk with that? Sugar? Yeah, I asked for cream. Come on. You were shit faced. You blacked out. I was not in a blackout. Yes, you were. I was in a gray out. Oh, so you remember a little bit of the party. Well, it's not going to happen this time. You can watch me. I'll watch her. <laughs> yeah, but who's going to watch you? <laughs> I don't need to be watched. I will watch over her, and if she blacks out, I'll drag her out to the cab and send her home before somebody attacks her. Yeah, I mean, I have the drinking totally under control. It's the speed that sometimes is Whatever. a Whatever. I'll take care of her, you guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're the best. Uh, you owe me. Ow. You guys don't know what you're talking about. I have a no-fail three-point plan. So what is it? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Come on. <laughs> help a brother out. I'm serious. I Try to use your help. plan. <laughs> Foolproof. See what you got. Oh, you really want to hear it? Okay. Yeah. Go. Lock and key after this. All right. Okay. right? Can't get out. If this gets out, it'll ruin my route. Spit it out. <clears throat> Point number one. A woman likes to take all her time to get dressed, to buy her clothes, do her hair, put her makeup, and perfume on, go out and look nice and beautiful for everybody. So you don't give her a chance to give you a one-word answer. When you approach her, you don't say, ask her a name, boom, done. Uh, you can ask her a yes, no question, done. Ask her something about what she's wearing, where she got it, how she looks, tell her how beautiful she looks, but not in a cheesy way, in a way like what she's wearing or the way she make, puts her hair makes her that beautiful. And then she'll love to go on and on and on about telling you. Point number two, when she's telling you, listen more than you talk. If you're listening all the time, they love it. They think you're totally into them. Everything's fine. Everything's set. And just nod and smile and just absorb everything and just take it in and enjoy it. Point number three, and this is the oldest, but you have to stick to it. Don't call before the third day. That is so ridiculous. What? I hate that rule. Got to. If you call before the third day, you look way too desperate. You're just trying too hard. It's like, no, you don't. But if you call after the fourth day, then you waited too long. It's a window. There's a window there. And you know, you're at that desperate point where, oh, he's not, if he calls me out, I'm not going to talk to him. But if he calls that third day, you're on there for an hour talking to him. I don't think I push for a commitment, but I think, like, as long as we had been together, we'd been together, like, a year and a half, I think it's time for a commitment. I don't think that's asking too much. So I don't think I push. I mean, I do want to be in a relationship, I want to get married, I want a husband, but I don't think I push for a commitment. They'll probably disagree, but I don't think I do. It's been a year and a half. 
After the first six months, I don't think you're pushing for at least for him to call you your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but you guys think I'm needy, I feel like, sometimes. Or they think I do the wrong things when I'm, like, dating or... Well, that's different than being needy. <laughs> so, Hazel, you seem to be a bit of a commitment phobia. Yes. You gotta stay single to mingle. <laughs> Go ahead. There's no point in having a boyfriend, ever. Well, you know, in the long run of things, you can settle down, but you gotta stay young and have fun, you know? Life is about meeting new people and getting out there. You can't have a boyfriend all the time. You're too young. Look at her. She's all sad. Someone left me here. <laughs> See, she should just go out with the girls, go dancing, you know, rub some shoulders. That's fun, that's life. I don't want some superficial relationship that's all about rules and him taking me to five-star restaurants and not calling. It's all just based on games. It's ridiculous. Well, it's not based on games. It's the idea that, I mean, you're sleeping with this guy, but he still won't call you his girlfriend. You've been with him for a year and a half. At least with the rules and setting some standards, you kind of set limits for him. And then when you take the girl out, whatever place you bring her to, that's the place to be. <laughs> Flawless. Every time. And if it comes down to it, leave something in her house. If you don't get laid that night, you will. Leave something in her house. You have to go Greg? back for a second date. You can't sleep with somebody on the first date. All right, now, who had the caramel macchiato? I'll do. What's with the accent? I'm practicing for that. Scene study dialects class in the water. That hair. A southern carrot, who thought. See y'all later. See y'all later. Okay. So it's kind of like, well, let's let's you know tell you're not ladies. I'm gonna ask you an opinion. Do you have an opinion on this? Um, I am a psychology student. I'm getting my PhD. And actually, I'm doing a clinical study right now. I have to do this survey. And I was wondering if you guys would mind helping me for a moment. Yeah, we've Is that got okay? Some a little time? Huh? Um, yeah. I've been talking with these ladies over here about relationships and commitment, so I kind of want to get a bit of how you feel about that, being in committed relationships, or are you in a committed relationship, anything like that? Well, we actually kind of overheard. We didn't yeah. want to eavesdrop or anything, but... Um, no, no, feedback's um, good. Yeah, no, we were totally listening, and... Uh, <laughs> totally. We, uh, we, we kind of had a different take on what was going on. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> well, share, share something. Share a story. Are you yeah. in a committed relationship or? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we okay. both are, actually. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, I'll admit, I was, I feel so sorry for that poor girl. She's all upset and all this, you know, relationships and what does it mean and am I a girlfriend? Am I, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it can be pretty confusing and I used to get really discouraged about those things, but then, it just kind of changed when I got into my relationship with Kate, and oh, we so have this you're really committed. Good oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We've so been yeah. we've been together for a couple of years now, actually. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. that's wonderful. It is. It really <laughs> is. And, and that's why we were kind of like laughing a little bit uh, mm -hmm. about the problem, just because, like Rosalind said, um, it was actually kind of a, a funny story how we met. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm a freelance journalist, uh -huh. and she's a photographer, yeah. and uh, we both had kind of gotten out of bad relationships at the time, and we met on an assignment in Mexico City. Can I ask you a question real quick? Yeah. Were these relationships that you got out of that were bad, were they hetero relationships or no? Well, do you mind if I go there? or? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, no, we're okay. totally open with okay. all of this. <laughs> this is great. I mean, it's yeah. very helpful. Sure, sure. Well, Roz, I don't want to speak for you, so you feel... Well, Mine was, um, mine was a, a same-sex relationship, but oh, okay. Kate's was, um... It was, <laughs> it, was, it, it, it was when I met Rosalind mm -hmm. that um, there was a spark that hadn't been there, um, that was kind of missing when I had been with God. And, and I, I don't want to push my beliefs on other people, but I was kind of wondering with, with the girl over there if maybe uh -huh. that's the problem that she just hasn't found the right person and it doesn't have to be male or female you know what I mean yeah it's not well it's not like we're trying to convert anyone or <laughs> it's nothing like that but it's more about communication and, and being maybe, open yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah I mean maybe it's easier to women you know women are generally better communicators but I don't I don't know 
it's, a, it's I, I don't think it has anything to do with any rules, or it's yeah. just like a chemistry thing. No, no. Just a chemistry club. 